Hey everybody, you are on the cutting edge and I am Buck Wild. I hope that you all had a safe, happy new year and a wonderful Christmas. I have not done a video or a knife review in a while. I've decided to try and get back on the horse. So I'm going to talk about a uh, knife here that I picked up for Christmas, as well as a couple of uh, pawn shop finds. Uh, you can really have, you can really find some good deals if you look around and uh, and know what you're looking for. So let's start off here with the Gerber Slim Sada. I got a, a gift card. I think it was to REI or something like that over Christmas and used it to pick up this beautiful knife from Gerber. Uh, granted, this is not made in the U.S. This is made in China, but it uh, it has micarta scales and a D2 blade stonewash finish, and it's a frame lock. The clip works really well. The ergonomics are really nice, and uh, that, that blade shape is... Uh, I think reminiscent of like a Japanese kitchen knife. I think they call it a kiritsuki or something like that. In any case, you can see how slim this is. And it's really lightweight, rides great in the pocket, and you can finger flick it. You can thumb roll it. Uh, I think you can even like pinch flick it. Um, just just a beautiful knife, and I think it's right about 50 bucks. Um, good quality knife. Really enjoy this nice knife. What else? Okay, so a couple of pawn shop finds. Uh, the first one here is one that I never really thought that I would give two shakes for. The original CRKT Pilar, Pilar, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is the 8CR13 MOV steel stainless scale, uh, stainless handle, I think aluminum backspacer. The, the lockup on this is really nice. It's a frame lock. Um, I got to tell you, <laughs> I'm really surprised how much I use this at work. It's a perfect, uh, it's a perfect EDC knife for the office. Nobody's going to panic and freak out when you pull that out of your pocket. And of course, with the uh, 8CR13 MOV, it holds a decent edge. Um, and again, I think I picked this up for 20 bucks. So if you lose it, you know, you're not going to cry, right? Uh, this is a Jesper, Jasper Voxnaze design. And if you look at some of the other knives that he produces, they go for 50 or 80 or even $100 uh, on Amazon or Blade HQ or wherever it is you find them. So I would much rather, you know, if I'm going to lose one, I would much rather lose a $20 knife than a $100 knife, right? Okay, so one more. And this was, this is really the ganga deal of the year, and we're only in February. I don't know about you, I'm not big on bugs. My, the, the, the insect that I like the least is the cockroach. So I never thought I would say I love holding a roach in my hand, let alone having one in the pocket. Uh, this is the Kaiser Roach in titanium. Let me get these other guys out of the way here. So you've got the titanium handle and the titanium clip with this uh, interesting roach on here and the blade is S35 VN steel. And I was just, had decided to stop into a pawn shop that I hadn't been into for a while. I hope you're sitting down. If you're driving, pull off to the side of the road. I got this for 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Like I just gave it a cursory once over and uh, grabbed my wallet. Um, I really, really, and you know, it's, it, it looks like a big bulky knife, but I really love carrying it. I love using it. Um, uh, it's just an awesome looking knife. And, um, well, so there you go. So, like I said, this was 40 bucks at a pawn shop. The CRKT Pilar was 20 
and then the Gerber Slim Sada, uh, thanks to the gift card I got for Christmas, was free. Um, in any case, these are three wonderful knives for your collection or for everyday carry. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to produce another video soon and uh, have a great weekend. Bye.